Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm going to start doing my collection videos. Um, got um, PS3 yeah, Master 19, 19 here um, to help me do them. Um, they, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do individual collection videos just of more current stuff. So I'm going to do like um, um, PS3, Wii, uh, DS, 3DS, and um, uh, PS2 as well. Um, might do GameCube as well. I'm not gonna do my older stuff. Like I'm not gonna do my two oldest tool stuff. I'm not gonna do like my um, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance stuff. I'm not gonna do my N64, or NES or SNES stuff. Not. I'm not gonna do those um, at the time at the mo at the moment. Um, just my uh, you know more modern stuff. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to start with my PS3 collection. Um, it's it's the newest collection I have basically because. Out of all my systems, my PS3 is probably the newest. I actually got that, um, like, around the holidays. Um, um, around the last holiday season, I got it. Um, so, um, I've been collecting for over this year. Um, so, I figured we'd start with that. Because I got about, uh, about a, you know, maybe 10 or so games um, for it. So, I figured we'd start with that. So, um, and, uh, and uh, but I've, been, I've been playing PS3 for a while. Um, I've had my PS3 for, like I said, for a good year or so, maybe, and, um, even before that, um, I played PS3 a lot, um, usually at his house, I, I completed, um, um, games like, um, Uncharted, the first one, um, even before I even had a PS3, I used to play a lot of the, uh, the, you know, Uncharted games, um, some of, like, the, some of the Dragon Ball Z games as well, and stuff like that, so, I've been playing PS3 for a little while, so, um, <clears throat> but yeah. So we got it, like I said, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I got about 11 games here. <clears throat> so I got 11 games, almost about a dozen. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll just go through these. They're all in alphabetical. So, 3D Dot Game Heroes. <clears throat> this is one of the one of the two games I picked up with my PS3. Um, there was this as well as the next game that I'll talk about next. Um, this I wanted ever since it came out. Um, it's a PS3 exclusive, so you don't you can't find it on Wii or 360 or anything. Um, it's it was made um, by Atlas. Um, I think they did they make it. Um, no, it was Silicon Studio. My bad. Atlas published it. Um, but it's basically just a it's, it's, it's a throwback to the classic Zelda games, and that's one of the main reasons I liked it. Um, and I wanted to get it for so while, um, for so long. But, but um, <clears throat> I haven't yet beat it. Um, but I've played a fair bit of it. Um, it is a really good game. I do need to get back into it. It's really, for anyone who likes Zelda or, or even old school games of the sort, like maybe even Dragon Quest. Like it even has like some little Dragon Quest elements there and stuff like that. It's, it's just a call back to the old school 8-bit adventure top-down type of games, you know, um, going through dungeons and stuff, you know, with the sword and shield and everything. It's, it's one of those games, you know. Um, you can't you upgrade all of them, too? Because... I was, I, my friend has also, my other friend has also has that game and uh the the max sword pretty much is the whole screen like the sword's like it's one giant jab it's like you're invincible pretty much yeah right yeah the sword you carry the sword it's like <clears throat> basic sword size but then when you stab it, it like it's like takes up half the screen you That's know you maximize you, it though yeah it's still pretty big though to start off with if you have full health though but yeah you can you can, you can upgrade all your weapons like that um. And then um, your character, you actually create him, um, which is actually pretty cool. So you don't have to use this little guy on the on the, on the box art. You can create your own character, bit by bit, block by block, block by block. <clears throat> and you can also use characters that are pre-made, um, either on the disc itself or over the PSN. Um, I personally chose a pre-made one. I chose a uh, blue screen of death, which is basically a computer monitor that has a blue screen. You know, so it's just, and, and I, yeah, so I'm, that's my character, you know, computer, computer monitor that's, you know, in the blue screen of death and walking around, you know, with a sword and everything. Pretty cool. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's my character that I use. Um, but, yeah, it's a really good game. If you like Zelda or anything like that, definitely pick, pick this up. And this is the other game I picked up with my uh, PS3, uh, Bayonetta, mostly because I am a huge Devil May Cry fan. It, it, it is, it was created by um, Hideki uh, Kamiya. Um, same same person who made um, um, the Devil May Cry series as well as Okami and uh, quite a few you know you know Devil May Cry Okami Bayonetta they're some of my favorite games of all time um, he's an amazing guy um, 
And, um, but yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I picked this up because I, I wanted to play it for the longest time. I've heard it was like, Dead Don't May Cry on, on crack, and it pretty much is. I still do prefer Don't May Cry a little bit more just because of some of the elements of Don't May Cry as well as Dante himself. I prefer more than Bayonetta as a character, as well as, um, just the atmosphere in Don't May Cry is, is, uh, you know, interesting. But the gameplay is... Is, is 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 crazy in this do so many different combos you know she has gun on her feet which i found hilarious and uh and uh that's a really good game i also heard though that the ps3 versions was was terrible in comparison to the 360 version like there was a bunch of screen tearing and everything i never experienced any of that with mine so i don't know why everyone says the ps3 version is so bad but um i don't know i never i never really had a problem with that so i mean it's just um I mean, it's a, it's a great game. There's really nothing too nothing too wrong with it, but yeah, I have it too, and I still gotta beat my copy. Yeah, I um, I uh, yeah, I beat I uh, beat this um, um, sometime after I got it, and um, it, it's an, it's an it's an amazing game. Um, you know, it's 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 pretty damn good. I'm waiting for the can't wait for the sequel to come to Wii U. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty sweet. But yeah, so Bayonet on 3 Game Heroes are the games I picked up on my PS3. So they're great seller games. Um, Bioshock is another game that I wanted to play for quite a few number of years. Never got around to playing it. Um, now that I have a PS3, I decide why not go pick it up. It was like I think I got it for like fourteen, thirteen, fourteen dollars used. So and it is complete. Um, you know, as you can see. Um, but this game's amazing. I haven't yet beat it yet. Um, it is in my backlog, but I played a fair bit of it. I played several, several, several hours into it. I love how you can upgrade all. You know, you know upgrade your your weapons and abilities I like I can get new abilities um I like the whole um you know how you can you know put the elements into like you know different ammunition like you can make electric shotgun bullets and stuff and I just I like all the different stuff you can do in this game and I love the atmosphere this game is creepy and I'm, I'm not usually a person who gets creeped out very easily because I watch I watch a lot of um you know stuff that's really out there I watch a lot of horror stuff as well and stuff like that so I'm not a person who gets really creeped out at stuff too much but this game the atmosphere is pretty damn creepy and that's actually pretty exciting about it um even, even when i was watching him uh, the, other, the other day i can't remember when it was i was watching it and uh they both had like i think it was a jump scare that one guy stuck up behind you oh yeah yeah because we were just like you kept you you, you keep hearing like you'll be in like a you know a hallway and water stripping and you won't you don't hear anything about how the water dripping that's i don't know where you'll hear a guy all the way like in the background just yelling or whatever you know, and you're like, what is that? And you don't see anything, you're walking around, you can't find anyone. And I don't know where you might turn a corner, and all of a sudden, like, you'll see a bunch of static, and you'll see, like, a ghost thing appear, like, almost like a vision, and then it disappears. And it's like, huh. It's like, okay. And you still hear the guy, and then you turn around, and now the guy's right in your face, and he's, like, trying to, like, attack at you. And you're yeah. like, oh, you're like, oh, shit. And it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta shoot his ass. But it's just, it does a lot of, it just the atmosphere in this game's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. I haven't yet picked up the second one, I haven't played the second one. I have heard the second one is better um, in terms of gameplay-wise. I also know the second one has multiplayer, I believe. Um, so I will eventually get the second one. Um, I want to beat this one first. Um, hope, hope, hoping to beat this one and get the uh, second one and beat it before uh, Bioshock Infinite comes out next year. Um, but yeah, so that's it's an amazing game. If you're looking for a good, decent action adventure shooter, um, um, you know, with lots of survival horror creep, you know, type elements. Yeah, that's. You can't get, cannot go wrong with Bioshock. Bioshock, I believe a lot of people would agree, it's a very big classic for this generation of gaming, I think. Um, this is a fairly recent one, Dead or Alive 5. Um, I also picked up the collector's edition for this. Uh, we can do, we can actually do a little mini unboxing of this, because I never did show this off. Um, there was a couple reasons why I didn't show this off. Reason being is... Um, I was busy with work. The second reason being is I had this pre-ordered, but I accidentally got signed up for the 360 version, which I don't have a 360, so I had to wait a couple days to get my collector's edition, and by then, it's just, it's just when everyone else on YouTube has made their unboxing videos, and now it's no longer new, it's just like, eh, it's not as exciting, but oh well. But it comes with the game itself, obviously, and it came with this nice hardcover art book, you know, Kasumi on the front, her face, that says, I'm a fighter. In the art book, it shows, like, all the different characters. This is very, very, um, very nice quality. It's not like 
some of your flimsy art books that some games get. This is a very nice hardcover, you know, very nice quality art book. Um, um, and then it came with the poster, which shows all the different fighters. I'm not going to unfold that. I'm not going to bother with that right now. But um, And then um, it does have the premium downloadable swimsuits voucher <laughs> to get swimsuit uh, costumes. I already redeemed that. And this is Dead or Alive. This is a Kasumi fully exposed, which you get like a character profile. I'll show you all our moves, combo strategies, full frame data, and, how, and everything. So I haven't really used it yet, but I don't know. But and then um, of course I got the soundtrack, a uh, jewel case, which we um, like, not the crappy cardboard cases. Yeah, this is this is nice. So it's just and all that came with the collector's edition. Um, and how much did you pay for that? This was seventy nine ninety nine, I believe. So about, I, I think it was seven ninety nine. Yeah, I think eighty eighty bucks. So it's twenty dollars more than what the standard was, but it's well worth it. Yeah, it, it, it's well worth it. it. Comes with this nice steel tin case. Um, yeah, it's embossed and everything. So really, really nice. It comes with this nice little slip cover here um, that goes over it. Um, Dead or Alive Five is an amazing game. As far as fighting games goes, it's very underrated. You know, nowadays you got your Super Street Fighter Fours, you got Street Fighter Cross Tekken, you got uh, what's Soul Calibur Five, Tekken Tekken Two. All this stuff just recently came out in the past year or two, and so a lot of people are, you know, in in with those. But a lot of people have overlooked this game. I haven't seen too much um, excitement for this game. And th this game, I mean, l look past all the fan service guys. <laughs> look past it. I don't even, like, I didn't even, I, like, at first I didn't even know, like, like the game, like, I, I, I knew about the volleyball ones um, back in the Xbox days, and I never liked those ones to begin with. But I got the dimensions for the 3DS, and the gameplay was just amazing. I love how you can do all the speedy combos. It's amazing. And this one is just even. It's one, it's one's even better. You know, we get more. You get new characters, um, new stages. There's tons of different specials and moves you can do in this. Um, the online's pretty damn good. Um, and it's just you know you know um, I haven't actually. I've put in several hours in this game. I played the hell out of this game for for quite a few days when it came out. And um, I played versus. I played arcade. I played survival. I played online. I played. Everything I haven't, even, I haven't, but I haven't, not, have not even touched the story yet, which is amazing because there's just so, there's a lot of content in this game, mm -hmm. so it's it's a really, really good game. It's really, really fast paced, really good. And the cool thing about this is there's characters from Virtual Fighter. So if there's any Virtual Fighter fans out there, you want to get this game because you can play as uh, some of the characters, including the main character. Um, so that's pretty cool. Only thing I wish this game had is the custom soundtrack feature because it seems like every other fighting game on the PS3 just about has that feature except for Dead or Alive 5 and I really Wait, wish... Does the 360 version have it though? Yeah, 360 version has it because you can use the the Zune media thing or whatever with yeah. it. I don't know. but Next game is Devil May Cry 4. Um, I had to get this. Big Devil May Cry fan. It's like my third favorite series of all time. Um, so I had to get this when I, get my, when I got my PS3. Um, it's, it's a pretty good game. I just I don't really care for Nero too much as a character. I wish we could control Dante more. However, Nero um, gameplay wise is pretty good. I like his devil bringer. I think it's called the arm, the demon arm that he has. Pretty good. Um, you know, dragging your opponents back over. You know, after you slash them away, just drag them back over and you know, throw them in the air, do more combos. You know, extend them. It's pretty pretty sweet. Um, and uh, but but it's just um, so, so gameplay wise is pretty cool. I just don't like him very much as a character. Um, um, but I have not yet to beat this. I still need to I still need to finish that one up. So. I haven't. I have that game, but I haven't touched it yet, so I need to get... Because I only had one before.